and welcome back to another video today here again on Gran Turismo 7 to check out the only one of the three cars from the most recent update that I can actually afford, which is this Nissan Silvia K's Type S, S14, from 1994, which is currently available from the used car dealer for 60,000 credits. And being a Silvia, there's not really much point driving it standard, partly because they're incredibly slow, but also because almost every example of one in the world is modified, and for good reason. So, let's head on over to, well, GT Auto and begin with this wide body before looking at some of the other customization options and making it a bit faster. So I'm going to go with these BBS wheels, but I think they need to be, maybe not 18s, a little bit bigger. And given we've got the wide body, they do need to kind of be a bit wider to fit that. Uh, paint colour we'll worry about in a minute. Let's take a look at custom parts, of which there are some. Ooh, interesting, because you can't do this on well, a lot of cars. What do we reckon? I mean, that one basically gets rid of... The first two just kind of look like they get rid of the Sylvia badge, and then that one's got the extra bits in it. Sure. Let's go with that. Okay, so these are all of the Nissan colours that I have, um, a couple of which I've just bought now. They all have brilliant names though, so we have Passion Red Tri-Coat, Cranberry Red, which we can't really use because we'll have to edit in that song about zombies every time the car is mentioned, or the colour is mentioned. Um, or very bright. Ultimate Shiny Orange, which I think is the best name for a paint colour ever, although energetic orange comes quite close, and they are... they're actually the same, aren't they? So at the moment I think I'm kind of between Millennium Jade or Pennzoil Yellow. You know what, a lot of people are going to do this in Millennium Jade, because that was a colour that was around then. Whereas this yellow was only really on the race car. So I'm going to go the yellow just to be a bit different. We do that in matte black. And that in matte. There we go. That looks quite cool. So after a quick circuit experience to earn 600,000 credits, um, of which I've spent quite a lot here in the upgrade shop, I was able to put some parts on, which is where this car really needed it, because stock it only has 216 horsepower and weighs 1,220 kilos, so it's not that heavy, but it's not very powerful, um, putting it at 476.86 from standard. The wide body had already increased that a little bit, and I was basically trying to upgrade it to 650. I am going to have to turn the power down slightly I think because it's slightly over 650 but basically I've done the carbon ceramics so I can go back and paint them um, and I've done well basically everything from the racing section including anti-lag because um, pops from the exhaust are very important um, brakes tires I've actually got the softs equipped but bought some hards uh, as well and suspension uh, brakes you can see what I've bought on this page um, Semi-racing, I've gone for the fully customizable computer and racing crankshaft. A lot of these weren't necessary because we had the racing parts on and an LSD. I haven't gone for any turbochargers because that would make it a bit too mad, I think. And here on Club Sports, I've got these couple of bits um, which you need to increase power as well. And of course, the power restrictor so that we can tune this back a bit to 650 and hopefully take part in a race. So I've quickly made a few minimal changes. I've lowered the ride height as far as it will go because it will just look slightly better. It will probably make the car worse. Um, restricted the power to 96% and turned the anti-lag on strong, um, which meant the performance points actually went up, which is why I had to restrict it by a little bit more than I expected I'd have to. Okay, so I discovered I've built this car for nothing because um, things either seem to be 600, which it's not going to be fast enough, 
or lower, um, which I thought was a problem, but apparently we're allowed to enter something recommended for cars of 550 in this. So let's do that. It should be well, quite easy. All right, here we go. Three laps of spa in Japanese cars, most of which will be a lot slower than this one. Overtaken through Eau Rouge is slightly scary. If that was actually Radion, please don't shout at me. Actually, we need to be in exterior so we can see that. Or at least here, the anti lag. by other Sylvia. All the Forza players get angry at seeing that one with its nice car model. <laughs> and the outside, no name, plus the other yellow car. This is going well. I'd kind of hope to race this at a Japanese track, actually, but anyway. This bar is always fun. And horrendous at driving from exterior beyond Gran Turismo for some reason. Past the sushi delivery car. Whoa! Well, thought this was on race tyres. Wait, that's not Japanese, that's a BMW. I do apologise, that joke has been so overdone everywhere. How is it outrunning me? Oh, um... Slight accidental cheating. Oh well, might be a boring race from here on then. Maybe I should go to exterior again and enjoy the anti-lag. I can see it actually. It's a shame the rev counter basically blocks the exhaust on this game. Also, also take note how when I upgrade to a race exhaust, the exhaust becomes bigger visually as well. Anyway, as expected, once I cleared those BMWs again, only one of them was actually. Anyway, once I cleared those two cars that got past me, um, not really much happened. And as expected, the car that's 100 points points too high won the race. Does look good. And just to give you a better idea of what the anti-lag looks like, um, I've come here to a circuit that's slightly darker. This has become my sort of go-to place to show this off, I suppose. And I've gone to replay cam so that you can see it without a, a rev, basically. I love that this is a feature in Gran Turismo. It's entirely pointless, but it's just brilliant.
And there we go, that brings an end to our video taking a first look at the new Nissan Silvia here on Gran Turismo 7. I love those seats, that's just brilliant. It's so 90s. Um, anyway, it's a fun car. I don't think many people are going to be driving it stock. I think, like me, you're going to come in and modify it, which luckily Gran Turismo does very well. Um, with, obviously, a wide body um, and usual bumpers and wings, but also the front grille, which is slightly more unusual, and there's a few options for. So, yeah, very pleased with how this has turned out. It's not usually the sort of car I like, although out of the three from this update, it probably is the only one I'm going to buy, partly because it's the only one that I can afford. The others are one and two million, and even if I put the time and save up for them, I'm not sure that's what I'd be spending my three million on. There are plenty of other cars in this game that I want. So, yeah, overall, it's not been a great update, this most recent one. Um, I, like, this car I enjoyed today, but I'll probably never drive again. It's not a car I'm that interested in. And like I say, the other two I can't afford. So overall, it's a bit of a disappointing update because that's all that's to it. There's no tracks. There's nothing else. Um, but what I should probably balance that with is we should really be pleased with any new free stuff in these games. Because not that long ago, games were kind of... Well, when you bought them, that's how they stayed. They never got additional content added. So we should be pleased with any free updates, really. Although, yeah, going by the previous ones, this one has not quite lived up to what some of those have been like. But anyway, I did rather enjoy driving this car, and it is quite cheap from the used car dealer, so do come and pick it up if you haven't already. Um, it is quite fun to modify it and then, well, just go driving in, really. But that is going to be all for a first look at the Nissan Silvia here on Gran Turismo 7. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next video very soon. Mm -hmm.